In this quick uh, tutorial, let's create a 3D crawl of, let's say, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace from Star Wars. Um, and uh, as you know, every Star Wars movie opens with a crawl that relates back to uh, the 1930s, actually, with Flash Gordon serials. Um, the Star Wars creator George Lucas um, uh, watched them all and loved them as a child. Um, so here we go. Um, let me just show you how this looks as a finished thing. I'm going to hit Control Enter. Hold on here. Um, Control Enter. And turmoil has engulfed the Galactic Republic, etc., etc. So, so this is actually very easy. It just takes a couple of steps and uh, an expanded timeline, and we'll get started. So let this play out here. Okay. So that's it. It's going to loop over and over on the uh, the test movie here. So let me close that. So starting fresh, let's go File New. And I'm going to leave the default 550 pixels by 400 pixels. I'm going to take the frame rate down to 10 pixels. I'm sorry, 10 frames per second. Okay. And background color, we could choose it here. Um, so I'm going to click that white box and then use the eyedropper to pick up solid black and say OK to that. Good. Um, now, this couldn't be easier. I have gone to uh, out to the internet and found um, a website with the crawl text. Um, I believe I searched for um, Star Wars opening crawls. <laughs> yep, Star Wars opening crawl text and found a bit of it, copied it, pasted it, and now we'll take this, before we paste, sorry, take the text tool and I'm making the width of the text box slightly wider than the stage here and then control V to paste that in. Um, and um, control A to select it and pick up the color here on the lower left and I created it in this yellow gold um, uh, in case yours is another co color um, do the yellow gold um, now let's show you what we have really this makes it quite easy um, First, before we apply um, an action to this, what we want to do is make this selected text. I'm going to deselect uh, the highlighting, but keeping the corners selected. Press the F8 button, and that'll turn it into a symbol, which is necessary to animate a movie. And notice that we have another little icon in the lower left, or upper left here that indicates that this box is a symbol box. And now it may be cheating a little bit, but there's some really cool presets built in here. So if I open Window, and I'm looking for um, hmm, Motion Presets right here. Okay. And we have all the, uh, if you look into here, a whole bunch of different presets which we can play in with a play with with some shapes but if you come down text scroll 3d is the one I'm looking for so very simply just hit apply and then I'm going to take the select tool and move move the ending point up out of the frame now when I hit enter when we play this it's working pretty well Let's see if the end of that, yep, it just went off the edge of the stage, uh, but it's too fast. Even at 10 frames a second, um, we have 40 frames here, so that's four seconds worth of animation, uh, and nobody can read that. Well, at least you're a super speed reader in four seconds. So 
to take it out to a more reasonable level, I'm holding my mouse right over the edge of the last frame here, and you'll see a double arrow. And I pull that out, and I'm going to look for something like 300 frames, which will be a 30 second. Uh, okay, so there's 300 frames. Take 30 seconds to read this, hit enter. Let's see how that works. That looks a whole lot better. Um, so, uh, and if you want to play it in a, a scrolling um, exported movie, just hit Control Enter. And then remember to save this file as a, as, a, as a movie. You can save it as an AVI, export it as an AVI, um, or save it as a SWIFT. And that's it.